Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and to another Dollar Tree haul. I did go into Dollar Tree this week and I did find some of the fall themed items. Again, they still did not have everything put out yet. As a matter of fact, the stuff that I did find was in boxes up at the front of the store. The boxes were half open um, and we had to dig in the boxes to get what I did get out. And I didn't want to get too crazy and too hysterical with throwing product on the floor to get to the bottom of these boxes. So hopefully when I go back this next week, all their stuff will be set out because I'm tired of waiting for new things from the Dollar Tree, especially the fall themed things. I wanna start decorating my house and I wanna start doing some crafts now that school's getting ready to be back in. I'll have a little bit more of some me time. So anywho, I decided that I would go ahead and dig in the boxes which is something i usually don't ever do but for real dollar tree can we please if you're gonna have enough time to put the box on the floor open it and then kind of halfway start to put stuff out at least finish that box and put it on the shelf like don't make don't make your customers dig in the boxes i can't stand that this is yes to blueberries this says age refresh which is something i need cleansing facial wipes now there's only 10 wipes in these but i thought they were interesting enough to give a try so they smell like lemon blueberries and apples and lemon lemon it says but it clean, cleans and moisturizes in one swipe it says so i thought i'd give these a try so i did pick up two of them i don't know if there's any more out there but these are the only two that i seen so i went ahead and picked them up they do smell nice and i have um seen like the tomato things that go with this um, so it must be like a whole line. I just didn't see any other ones in Dollar Tree whenever I was there. But maybe when I go back, they'll have some more. I also found some hair mask. Um, this is Beginnings by Hask. Now, I know that this is sold in Walmart. And I do believe maybe Sally's, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but this is just a um, conditioning treatment. One is Argan, Argan, Argan Oil. And this one is supposed to strengthen, restore, smooth, dry, damaged hair. So the instructions on these bad boys do say, I mean, there's a lot of product in this. Like, I'm not even mad about paying a dollar for that because my hair is sh kind of short and it's really, really thin. So I can probably get two uses out of this, even though the instructions say to wash your hair and then entire imply the entire pack to clean wet hair. There's no reason for me to have to do that because it'll be just way too much stuff dripping down my neck and things and I just can't have that. So we have this one and then this one here is a coconut oil. And again, I mean, like that's, I mean that for me, for my hair, it might, you know, for other people here who's got thick or curly hair, you might need the whole pack. You might need two for that matter. Um, but I thought I'd give those a try. Uh, let's see, orange back here real quick. I did pick up a package of the 24 ply, and this is the Elise. These are beverage napkins. Um, I got them in orange and white because it's fall time, and I'm going to reach back here again. And they fit better in lunch boxes, so that's the reason why I got the beverage one, and I can use those over the course of the fall and the next couple of months. And I also picked up some of these bad boys. These are just the primary fork and spoon. I like these because when they're setting on top of each other, they the little grooves here will set in place and it'll hold them together. They're like, uh, what's that word called? Intertwining? That's not the word. Anyway, they, they go into each other when they're sitting on top of each other. I buy these all the time. They're at Dollar Tree all the time, or at least mine anyway. Um, and every once in a while, they'll get lost or you know, somebody will step on one or break one or I'll throw one across the floor, you know, something like that. But, and they'll get lost. I usually end up buying these, you know, probably, I probably buy a, two every, you know, five or six months or something. Um, and I've got three kids and this way, if I use one today, I have an extra one for tomorrow, you know what I mean? There's really no harm in 
having multiples of those. And then I found this Cutie McCute. Now I know these have been out a while, at least the strawberry one, but I never seen the strawberry one and this is the very first time my store has had the lemon one. So I went ahead and picked this one up and I thought it'd be fun for if one of the boys wanted to chop some things up on the cutting board while I'm cooking or something. Not with that knife though. Not with that knife. They'd be getting a butter knife because they'd probably drop it and the knife would go through the foot and it'd be a thing. And then I would have to be, you know, doing stitches on them in the middle of my living room. Not really. I would take them to the hospital, although I do know how to do stitches. Um, I picked up this basket just for some organization for the containers for lunch boxes and stuff. And I'll be showing you guys that in a different video next week. Um, if you're interested in everything about lunch boxes and lunch ideas, I'm not, I'm going to be showing their, you know, Jack's lunch box plus what I take for lunch. Uh, there's been several people who have either messaged on, um, leave comments on videos or sent me personal messages about, um, cause in the beginning of my channel, I did do lunchbox videos all the time. And then I kind of got more into the crafting situation and I still do the lunch boxes, always have. I just kind of stopped filming it. And there's been several people that have personally sent me messages requesting um, for me to bring the lunch box videos back. So I am more than happy to do that for you guys. Um, so yeah, be looking forward to that. School starts tomorrow, so there won't be a lunch box video for today. But I will have a full lunch, and I do believe I'm going to post lunch box videos on Saturday. So, like next week, I'll film the lunch boxes for Monday through Friday, and then I'll post it on Saturday. At least that's what my hope is. Um, we'll see how it goes. You never know about me. Uh, have you guys seen this? Um, that the light is messing with me. Anyway, this is Salon Selectives. Who here is an 80s girl? Because I am. And Salon Selectives was the bomb.com back in my day. Um, and that's a it's a really good product. I remember using it. I still use it to this day. I love their shampoo that we get from the Dollar Tree and the white big bottles. Even the one in the pink, not bad. Um, tropical coconut oil. This is sulfate free, which is the stuff that I need for my fragile old lady hair, you know. So anyway, this is a heat protectant. So I figured it says use with heat styling tools. So if you're going to straighten your hair or blow dry your hair, this is a good thing to put on top of um, your hair before you do such. This says that it is four fluid ounces and this is the only one I've seen on the shelf. A lot of times when I'm in Dollar Tree, I only ever see one product. It's like they have me in mind whenever I go to the Dollar Tree. They're like, Sue's coming in the store. We're just going to set one little product out on the shelf so she can't buy multiples because y'all know that I like to have at least two. Most of the time I like to have three of things that I really like. So I'm hoping that if I'm going to try this out and I'm going to blow dry, I'm going to wash my hair and blow dry my hair tonight. Um, I only wash my hair like every other day, guys. Is that weird? Because if I do, if I do wash it like every day, then I get like really bad dandruff and I can't with that. So I wash it every other day and I'll blow dry it. So I'm going to try this out and if I like it, I hope that there's more when I go back next week. Again, Salon Selectives, yes please. Um, what we got going on here is this blue one is frizz control, leave-in smoothing argon aisle. I don't know why I always want to say aisle for oil whenever I'm reading it like in front or behind something like argon. But I do, so this is from Morocco, y'all. Um, so what we have here is smooths and protects Salon Selectives leave-in smoothing. This is like a leave-in conditioner. So we'll give it a try. Ooh, and it's paraben and sulfate free. I don't like putting sulfate on my hair. That's the one good thing about Salon Selective products that even if you were to buy that in Walmart, I don't know if you guys can see, but the product in this bottle only comes up to about right here. I don't know if it got spilled or it might have got spilled in my car. One of the kids might have stepped on it. It's got that awesome salon selective smell though. Yes, anyway, I just looked down and seen this so I thought I'd share that with you. Um, hold your bottles up to light. 
um, and don't be a sucker like me. Anyway, this one feels pretty full. Anyway, the leave-in conditioner, um, I forgot what I was saying. It's gone. Anyway, so that's this one is a first control, and this is an instant repair. We love your hair. And these are cruelty-free as well. I believe that all salon selected products are now cruelty-free. I don't think they've always been, but I could be wrong about that. If I'm speaking out of turn, you guys let me know. Um, but maybe they just didn't put cruelty-free on packaging back in the 80s whenever I was hair up to hair, you know, my bangs up to here with like a whole can of hairspray on top of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't play it like you don't. Um, <laughs> so instant repair, leave-in conditioner. This is Brazilian keratin oil. And this says it hydrates and shines. Well, I hope it does because we're going to give you a whirl. And both of these are also four fluid ounces. All right, I do believe that is it. All the rest of the things are fall related, which I can't wait to finish collecting. Reaching across there. I also picked up this little small container for my kids' bathroom just because they don't have any drawers in their like vanity. Um, they're like fake drawers in there. So I picked that up just for storage sitting on top. It, I, the boys' bathroom is my worst nightmare every single week I go in there and clean it and it's like my worst nightmare do you guys have that problem with the boys bathroom because I have four boys that share that bathroom because the bathroom in in the master suite is mine like you know I don't want you guys in there I don't need that in my life anyway so I figured I can organize some things that sit on top of the um, vanity inside that basket because it's small enough that it will fit there without taking up too much space. I don't know. It's my worst nightmare, guys, for real. Okay, so fall themed things. I got some of this. Now, this is ribbon, and what I was really hunting for is the tool, all the, go the gorgeous fall and how. Ow. All the gorgeous fall and Halloween items. Um, are not items, but the tool I was really trying to dig in those boxes to get to because I want to make a Shaker tag with some tool on it. I'm gonna try and see if I can get this to work this weekend um, Because I am going to be projecting the next Swap and I want to do like a project share video with that as well as showcase what I'm talking about inside the next swap video so I got this and I'll see if I can get it to work. If not, I have other tool in my stash, but I would have liked the orange and the brown and the gold colored tool. Maybe they'll have some whenever I go back. This literally was the only one like this that I seen. So I'm sure there's, and as a matter of fact, I do believe that I seen other people hauling something similar, um, but like in a lighter gold color. I'm not a big gold fan. I like it as accent. Um, to the fall things, but I pr really prefer the orange and the browns to anything other than like gold accents. I, like I don't like the straight up gold pieces. So there's that. Then I found these cutie McCutes and there is a couple other versions of these little burlap um, ribbons. I love these ribbons. They usually have them in every holiday season. Um, burlap style whether it's 4th of July or Easter and I usually always try to get as many of them as I can um, and this one is by far my favorite but there is another one similar to this one I think there's two more actually that are out there that I'm wanting to get my hands on but these are just the two that I was able to get in the boxes for so these are the two that I got this week I'm hoping that they have more next week and I'm hoping maybe these are a little bit better made than they used to be because this like used to just be the burlap and that's it. But they've put a plastic covering on the back so it makes it a little bit more sturdy. And you guys know that burlap, burlap and country themed things is just my life. See this is what I'm talking about with the gold. Like I really don't mind having that gold accent stripe in there. But I prefer these two colors as opposed to the gold in general. Um, but I don't mind it when it's like just a little bit on there. 
I did find in one of the boxes on the floor this set of jack-o'-lantern picks. Um, my store has very little um, Halloween things out. I found some witches hats and some other pumpkins last week at Dollar Tree, but those are completely gone, the ones they had out, and they didn't have anything else new out. But I have seen so many people hauling so many fun new um, Halloween and fall themed items that I can't wait. I don't know what my, my store is usually not this bad, guys. Um, I know I keep saying that, but for like the last few, probably like a month now, it's been like really not awesome. Um, so I did find these little pumpkin picks. So I picked up, uh, you get five of the, oh no, you get four of the big ones and you get five of the medium sized ones. And then you get 10 of the really small ones. Sorry about that glare, y'all. I am still on the hunt for the clips, the pumpkin clips. They come three in a pack. My store did have a set of white ones um, sitting on the shelf, but they all had like this funny, like yellow coloring to like one section of the pumpkin to where you know that it got sprayed incorrectly or something like that. So I passed on those. Although I could just repaint them myself, but for a dollar, I just want the products to be what they're supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I passed on those and they didn't have the orange ones or the brown ones available. They just had a few of those white ones and like I say, they were messed up. So I passed on those. And then I, this is one of the things that I was looking for was these felt leaves. Um, I don't know why I like leaves so much, but I do. And um, last year I bought some felt leaves at Hobby Lobby and it cost me like three or four dollars. Now they were quite a bit smaller and they were quite a bit smaller than this. And I probably would prefer something a little bit smaller, but for one doll hair and also um, for Dollar Tree, I'll take it any day. This was the only one I saw. So I don't know if there's any other like varieties of that or not. Um, I'll be interested to see if we can find some eventually. Um, I did find this pack, and I really don't think I need these. Um, I do love the fabric flowers, and there's 50 in there. But the cool thing about this pack here is that you can see on the back that they have some burlap ones in there. And I wish that they made it equal or just a whole pack of these burlap leaves because, I, you know, y'all know me by now. You've been watching my channel long enough. That burlap is life. Um, so burlap is everything to a country girl. Um, so I wish that they had an entire package of just those burlap leaves. It looks like out of the 50 leaves that are in here, you get three red burlap ones and three green burlap ones. I don't know if it's worth a dollar for me to buy several packages just to get enough of these burlap leaves to where I'm satisfied. You guys know what I'm saying? So I did go ahead and pick up one pack though, and I'll be interested to see if maybe there is a package that has nothing but burlaps in it in that size. Now, with that being said, I did find these burlap leaves and they only come five in a pack but they're pretty decent size and you can use these in florals if you want to because they do come with the very strong picks on the back um, but I did go ahead and pick up I wish they had each variety of leaf in each color that would have been life and real for me um, but they didn't they had this variety so I went ahead and got this one and I had to dig for these two so I'm hoping that once again they have their stuff set up so that whenever I go back I can get duplicates or you know threes of everything I don't know why I feel like I need three of everything but I do um, so I'm hoping that maybe you know they get their uh, products put up and there'll be more probably by next week when I go it probably will be be gone you know they used to stock the store like Every Thursday they used to stock the store and I would go on Fridays, but here lately you can't tell. Anyway, I got these big green ones here. And again, they have the little strong picks. And then they have this orange one as well. And it's the same shape as the plain burlap ones. I am still looking for those pumpkins with the clips and then they have the leaves 
in the clips. Um, I'm looking for those as well. I'm hoping that our store gets them. Um, that would be real nice. What else? There's a whole, the little foam filler pieces for fall. I haven't seen those at my store yet. Um, I think there's a burlap banner out that is just like the burlap banner pieces. I haven't seen that yet. Like fall to me is one of the funnest. I mean, I love 4th of July. Don't get me wrong, y'all. It is my favorite holiday, but Fall to me is just the bigger holiday. I mean, when you decorate around your home and things like that, you get to do that. You get to keep your decorations out for several months, minus Halloween is its own thing. But like what I normally do is I start putting out fall decorations about the end of August and I keep those decorations up the August, the end of August, September, October, and then like two weeks before Halloween, I'll kind of, I'll leave all my fall stuff up y'all if it's still can be incorporated with um, Halloween, like the pumpkins and all that fun stuff, st the hay bells and the scarecrows. Like I usually go all out on my front porch for the fall season and that's because you take all that time decorating and you get to keep it open um, for three or four months. Whereas like Christmas time, you decorate at Christmas time and then you gotta take all that stuff back down. Am I right? Anyway guys, I don't know why I'm so chatty today, but it is what it is. Uh, school starts tomorrow, so I'm almost out of my crazy, hectic, busy schedule. The first full week of school is probably gonna be a little bit crazy, but nothing like the last two weeks has been for me. Um, so I'm really hoping to get caught up and just film the crap out of all this stuff I need to film this weekend so that I can get the next stuff going. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy these videos and if you like Dollar Tree Haul, give these, um, video, this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, leave it in the description box below or you can email me. That will also be in the description box below. If you um, don't have anything to say and you don't like this video, you're more than welcome to give it a thumbs down. Um, those do not bother me. At least I know you're watching it and you didn't like it. And it, thumbs downs actually, I think, make more people see your video somehow with the YouTube al algorithm. Or so I've been told. I don't really know. I don't know how that stuff works. Um, but anyway, again, I'm just chatting and it's because I'm really tired. So I'm going to go get kids a school lunches packed for tomorrow, first day, set cl clothes out, get their stuff all ready to go, and I will see you guys. I don't have any more videos uh, filmed for this week, so I will probably see you on Sunday for the weekly grocery haul. I do have a Ricky's Colt, Colt Crushes video that I have in my memory bank. But it's old now. Um, it's from June. So I may or may not post it. I might post it just because I took the time to film it. Um, but probably not. I'll probably just see you guys on Sunday. And then next week hopefully I'll have videos um, for every single day of the week like I normally do. Alright guys. I'll see you uh, when I see ya. Alright. Bye.